Here we go, main event of the evening, 10 rounds for the central area vacant bantamweight title, joined by fellow bantamweight, Tommy Chadburn, how you doing Tommy? Yeah, I'm great, thank you pal. You're looking forward to this one, you were supposed to fight Lee earlier on this year, so very interested observer yeah, in this yeah, one. Yeah, definitely, I've got, um, Craig Derbyshire, obviously in the blue corner from the same town as me in Doncaster, so I want to win of this basically, I can have a local derby with Craig or I can come to Bolton and, uh, and have a fight with, with Lee. Obviously, you, you know about Lee. You did a bit of studying on him because he was yeah. supposed to fight him. Yeah. You know he had a, obviously a bad lock, knockout loss. Yeah. Uh, come back. He's had about, I think, about five or six wins yeah, on the bounce yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. We'll uh, see how he gets on. Craig, like you said, already coming to fight, looking to put it on Lee straight yeah, away. That's that's all Craig does. Craig will just come forward all night. He does, he won't accept coming forward. It's got to be intelligently and not get caught with old silly. He uses, he uses attributes, he's got a bit of reach on him, hasn't he? Yeah, that's what you'd expect. A nice little jab in there. Southpaw as well, isn't he? So. He's got to keep him at range. And not get caught with him. That's all Craig does is windmill. This is both men just looking for that little opportunity, that yeah. little window there, aren't yeah. they, to get through? Yeah, yes. Be a good fight. Definitely be a good fight, this. Obviously, Craig being the shorter man, he's got to work his way in. He's got to try and slip that jab as he's coming in. Yeah, he's, uh, he's very. Oh, he's, he's very, just caught Lee with a great very shot there, though. Uh, Craig Garbage, so he knows what he's doing. He'll put it on him now. He's caught him with one. He's just I wonder if he caught him with a couple recover. of good shots there. Yeah, he took, he took, he took the shot, though, Lee. Then he took, took the shot well. Craig needs to work him now. Looks a little bit more weary now, Lee, don't he? Obviously for Lee, he needs to box smart now. He yeah, needs to not take any risks. Yeah, so to get through this round, I think they may as well just keep himself ready. There's another ten, uh, nine rounds to go yet, isn't there? So it's all the early days, isn't it? So Lee's tactics seems to be sort of making miss, making pay yeah. style, you know, looking to get that jab to the body, looking to make Craig go for the attack, but yeah. making pay at the same time. Yeah, I think it's the right tactic, really, for Lee just to uh, counter punch him as he's coming in. Could, could do with bringing the uppercut into play, I think, with Craig coming low like he does. He needs to keep that left hand up because he's getting caught with a right hand every time. That's like you say, as soon as Lee Clayton misses one of them shots, Craig Davish is there. He's there to throw it yeah. the right hand He'll over. He'll be on his chest all night. He doesn't know anything different. 
but he's, he's got that experience, he knows how to grab a breather, just like you're walking off then, he grabs a little bit of a breather. How did you see that first round then? It was 1-0 Craig for me there. Plenty of time left, yeah, that was there. With Lee suffering that bad knockout loss, is he, is he susceptible to that? Do you think that I it think, was just a one-off or do you I think, think... Yeah, I do, yeah. I think it's a one-off. I think now nah, he's got Nate, Nate Farrell in his corner with him. Uh, he'll have worked on things. Nate, uh, Nate been a uh, southpaw himself. He's been been there, done it, as a southpaw. So uh, I think Lee will have learned to have a lot and that'll have made him a better fighter. Yeah. Come back, not get drawn into wars like he used to. So I know he used to love, love a bit of a war and what have you. But now he's making, like he's made bantam weight, he's coming a couple of pounds under, but he'll, he'll not be carrying that extra bit of weight, so he might be a bit wary, a bit yeah. chinny with uh, uh, this weight, but we'll, we'll see as the fight goes on. But he took that, he took that big shot well in the first round. To be honest, it was a big shot. Body shot there for Lee. Yep. Always difficult, obviously. An orthodox and south pole, there's yeah. always that risk of yeah. tying yeah. up. I know this first stand, look at my face. <laughs> 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 I've had a good few wed clashes with this. South pause. It just needs to keep fainting like his and then throw that left hand straight through the middle of the park. It's working for him. Every time he faints, Craig pauses and he's got his opportunity then. He just can't he can't let he can't wait for him to come in like he like yeah. he is like that. I know that's what he's trying to do. He's obviously trying to wait for Craig to make a move to yeah. come in to try and throw that left hand. Yeah. But obviously Craig, he's not wasting any time when he when he does get the opportunity, he's going in and yeah, he's throwing yeah. his right hand over the top. Yeah, yeah that's, it, you ain't see him throw many jabs, Craig Derbyshire. Everything's hooked, especially <laughs> with big right hooks. He's strong for his size though, very strong for his size. He, he makes Bantam weight very comfortable because I know he is a super flyweight now, isn't he? Yeah. That's better from Lee. Yeah, good shot, good in and out shot that from Lee Clayton. Oh, he took one there, well. Yeah, he took it, he took that well. Tie him up, just need Brilliant, that. Really just well needs to, to make sure he backs up a little bit there. He got himself caught in the headlights just a little yes, bit. Yeah, I think he just remembered himself then and got out way, didn't he? So regardless of how much training somebody has as a fighter, whether they get a different trainer in or yeah. you know, whether they have a, a, a good few fights in a row, is there a risk that they can revert to type? Yeah, I think it all depends on the heat at the moment, doesn't it? If, depends what you've got in, in you. It's all about intelligence, isn't it? But it's easier said than done. Yeah. When that red mist kicks in. I mean, we've seen it with many many high-profile fighters in the past. I think yeah. Amir Kansas is probably the one that I can yeah. spring to mind where, 100%. you know, he, he boxes really, really well, hand speed, everything else, but yeah. as soon as he gets clocked, he reverts to type and he just wants the dog yeah, fight. Yeah, that's it. He does, yeah. That's better from Lee. That's all Lee needs to do, just keep him, keep him at range with that jab and, and throw that backhand in. Like, he's just like lovely movement, that. Better, always better boxing from Lee Clayton. Really good movement, actually, from yeah, Lee. Quite impressive to, to get in and out as quick as he has. And that's definitely a key for him to win this fight tonight. Yeah. He, can, he can win this fight quite easily, doing yeah, it all night. That's all he has to do. He won that round, then Lee, I'd say. I think there'll be close rounds all the way through the fight, to be fair. But if, if Lee boxes and moves like that, then he'll win hands down. Just, as long as he doesn't do it, oh, daft, because he's set to both with that right hand. Yeah. Have you enjoyed the fights tonight, Tommy? Yeah, but I've really, really enjoyed tonight's show. It's a bit absolute fantastic setup. Food were nice. It was nice to have a little a bit of a chocolate treat as well. I've not, not had no chocolate for eight weeks. <laughs> so, a nice treat for me. You're back in training, ready for your next yeah, one? Yeah, I've been in I've been camp eight weeks now. Um, 
I, as a Monday, I'll start weighing my food out now and get me another stone off, and then that'll be me down to weight then. But I'm hoping to be out uh, end of November, fingers crossed. It's, um, it's not uh, confirmed yet, but it, uh, we're what my, uh, my team's telling me, it will be end of November. And round number three now, Lee Clayton back to type again. Just showing the jab, trying to throw yeah. that left hand in. That's, Got one down the middle there. That. That's exactly what I meant, but throw them feints. Uh, sorry, make them feints and then throw that straight down the middle, that left hand. And it's working retreat for him there. You can see uh, Craig Darbyshire's experience a mile off here, can't you? Yeah. Uh, he's so calm and composed, isn't he? And he knows how to grab his breathers when to attack. That's the thing, I've obviously many more fights than Lee has in his career, so yeah. he's got that experience over him. Yeah, I know he's got a losing record, but I think his, his record don't speak. Well, he never does. So, he's, he's a really, really good fighter, Craig Derbyshire. I do rate him. I just think we boxed on the road and that he's had a lot of bad decisions as well. Well, we've seen it tonight, didn't we? Sam O'Reilly yeah. beating Saif Chima. Yeah. Sam deserved that win. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, this is what happens sometimes on the road. You don't always get a decision, but yeah. there's probably times where they should have got the decision. Yeah, correct. I think one thing that's impressed for me with Lee is the, the ability now to be able to know when to step away and yeah. not be involved in a dogfight anymore because yeah. he could quite easily yeah. turn into one. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, he needs to be throwing his jab there, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he just needs to be commanding centre of the ring. Yeah. If he gets that jab off first, he's, he's, he's going to stop Craig in his tracks. Yeah. He's going to stop Craig from working. Yeah, stop him throwing that right hand out of distance. And when, he, when he does throw that right hand out of distance and misses, make him pay then. Looking a little bit better. He's throwing a few more punches now, not just, not just relying on that one left hand. Yeah. Boxing really well. I'm, I'm, I am impressed. I am impressed with the, 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 the boxing on the back foot coming forward, stepping in, stepping yeah. out. Obviously, Nathan yeah. in his corner is telling him exactly to do that, and he's done yeah. that to perfection yeah, so I far. I think he's around there as well. What do you think Tommy's, um, Tommy, <laughs> Craig's training saying to him in the corner there? You got sorry? What do you think Craig's training saying to him in the corner there? I think he'll be telling him to keep putting it on him. Um, try and catch him again like he did in round one. It might, it might have been a little bit cold when he got caught that, with that, uh, that first shot, but see how he acts by putting it on him a little bit more. I know he's going to move that way, but so it's that risk of him engaging again. And, I think, in my opinion, if it comes to engaging, there's only one winner there with Craig because he's very, very strong. He just needs to be sensible and box, box clever. Pick, think, his, pick his points and move. Yeah. The thing is, it's, 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 he won the British Challenge belt in February in the fight that was essentially proposed for yourself. Yeah. This is for the central area, the yeah. vac vacant bantamweight title. Yeah. So if he wins this, you know, there's a big opportunity for yourself yeah, definitely. Uh, next year if you come through, obviously, yeah. November. Yeah. It's a good shot there from Lee yeah, Clayton. Lovely shot. 
Acknowledgement there from Craig, he smiled yeah. at Lee. He did, yes. <laughs> he's got that cheeky grin on his face, <laughs> Craig, when he gets caught like that, and then he, he sees the red mist, that's what he's in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Step in. Come on, Lee. From there, one, two, three. Come on. When you're in that situation and, and, and that happens to yourself, what, what's it like? Is, do you have to try and tell yourself in the moment you, know, you need to compose suppose, himself here I suppose you do yes but it depends on the fight I suppose if it were me then I think uh, I just can't help myself but that's just my style really I mean I'm, I'm working on things myself like that to, not to get involved in whatever but it's a good exchange between the two yeah. here yes it's been, I'm really really impressed with it to, to be honest so far it's been a, a great fight You can see the game plan from both uh, from both camps so far, can't you? Yeah, well. you can. I'm sure uh, Craig won the central area title at Super Flyweight against the Southpaw as well. So I think he'll have boxed a few Southpaws in the past as well, anyway, so it'll be no, no, no to him. Yeah, he's got the experience, like we said earlier, he's got the experience uh, to perform. Uh, but obviously, Lee at the moment is. is you know, he's boxing well, he's getting in, he's getting out, his movement, he's standing off. Some good shots going in from yep. Lee, he's just got to be yeah. careful, he's just got to keep that left hand up. Yep. Yeah, it's dangerous that right hand doing big damages. <coughs> he's come to win today, definitely. Good shot. Good shot that from Craig Derbyshire. Yeah, th this is when Craig's at his most dangerous, when he turns up and he puts it on you. He's, he's come here to win today. He's not come for a, for a payday. He's definitely come to win. This will be an hard fight for Lee. Good shot, Good shot there as Craig Derbyshire came in. Brilliant that. Good movement on the ropes from there at the end as well, and not getting caught with anything silly. Yeah, brilliant. I think he's edging it. Yeah, I'd probably say we're going into the fifth round now. How would you? How many rounds would you give to Lee? That's a three-one so far. Yeah, I probably agree with you. But the first round, Craig, yeah. and probably Lee took over from there yeah. so far. About to get ready for round number five, just coming up to halfway through this one. Round five. I think key, key for victory now is Philly to just continue doing what he's doing. He's boxing well. Yeah. I think he needs to just continue that. Not got caught with anything silly. Uh, he looks impressive. Yeah, as long as he doesn't get in any exchanges, he uh, he'll keep nicking these rounds like he is. He just can't afford to keep dropping that left hand and getting caught with a big right. And that's obviously, you can look, you can look at it, Craig, you can see that's what he's waiting yeah, for. He is, yeah. He's waiting for it. He's just throwing that left, just sort of pouring away at that left and waiting for yeah. that, that left hand to drop a Lee Clayton so he can throw the right yeah, hand over the definitely. top. There you go, he's trying it there. And when he does that's land it. to get out of the way like that. Perfect movement. When he does land it, you can see it does buzzly a little bit. Yeah. Good shot there as Lee steps in and steps out again. Yeah, brilliant boxing from Lee there. Have you seen anything so far, Tommy, that you think actually I can I can I could do I could do something different here? I do. It's with me. I've I've got some style to Craig really, but I can punch a lot harder than what Craig can. And I fight fight him like that with a right hand. He's just been caught with a couple there now. I I would more than buzz him. I catch a right hand, that is an absolute fact. Oh, well, he's looking a oh, little buzz there, oh. two shots, he stumbled oh. him. Oh. Craig Derbyshire going yeah. in for the kill hold now. Him. Hold him, Lee, hold him, hold him, Lee. Lee needs to hold on now before he goes down. Great shot as Lee oh. came in now, but he's just stuck another one. Two, three, three, a little bit off balance then as well. 
It's a bit off balance then. He, he was buzzed, but I think he did well to last as long as what he did without going down. Took a few too many clean ones then. Yeah, he did. He just. I hope he. I hope he survives this round at least. Anyway, it's been a great fight so far. Yeah, he yeah, has. Very, very tactical fight. He just needs to hold on. Craig Dabish is going to go in for the kill now. He sees a victory yeah. coming here. He's not going to let it go. Well, He's really struggling oh, now. Oh, take a knee, Lee. Take a knee. Oh. He stopped the fight. And Craig Dabish you know beats no, Lee Clayton. I, I, I feel so bad for Lee there. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't the right decision, to be fair, there. But oh, I'm devastated for him, to be honest. I know he's worked very, very hard for that. I didn't expect that, I'll be honest. No, I mean, he was boxing really well. And as soon I as just he... said, didn't I, seconds yeah. before, took a knee. Well, well, it's been a two, night of uh, shocks yeah, tonight, two, to be honest uh, with you. Two weight Central Area champion now. A huge win for him, that. And now for you, Tommy. Uh, you're not looking at Lee anymore, you're looking at Craig well, instead. Yeah, it's in a, Lee, Lee can still can still get it, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, me and Lee's got unfinished business from February, so I'll still... Well, maybe, maybe, maybe that's something for him could, to come back yeah, to. Yeah, we, we could have it as an eliminator, I suppose. He's, uh, I think he, he's, uh, he's, he's wanted, wanted to be out in April, I think Kieran said to me next year. So that, that'll probably be the fight for me and Lee. But it, I'll come to Bolton again, no problem. Well, that sort of wraps it up. Obviously, Craig Darvish beats Lee Clayton to become the Central Area Bantamweight yeah. Champion. A uh, great night here at the Macron Stadium. Yeah. It's been really good, really enjoyed it. Tommy, yeah. thanks for coming on. Right, thank you very much, pal. Bye.